It's tough being someone's money. I feel like I have so much to offer and yet I'm underutilized. I'm stretched too thin. There's no margin. I mean, they're completely ignored or people are pushing me in directions I don't want to go in. I can provide so much more meaning to people beyond power boats or fancy shoes or new watches. I just want what's best for people. All right? I want them living the dream. Well, what would that look like? Terry, <laughs> great to hear from you. Man, every Monday like clockwork. It's wonderful. Guinea pigs do need saving. Yes, I think giving 5% is a great place to start. You know what you and Melody need? You need to take some time away from the kids and enjoy yourselves. Take that vacation. You blew out both tires at once? Oh my goodness. The good news is, is that that's why we have our emergency savings. Isn't it amazing? Savings? Check. Giving? Check. So guess what? Now you get to go spoil yourself. You know, go get something fun, like repaint that house, go get that car, uh, buy that new phone, consume your heart out. Not to burst your bubble, but do you really feel like that's realistic? <sighs> Excuse me. Hello? Yes, uh, just a moment. It's for you. <sighs> this money. Karen! 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 <laughs> you called back! Oh my goodness, what's going on? Congratulations! You've been saving long and hard for that house. That's amazing. And you got a great rate. <laughs> Even better. You're the best. <laughs> no, no, you're the best. Okay, all right, we got a lot of work to do, all right? Okay, thank you. All right, so what we're gonna do is, first off, we're gonna make sure we get that homeowner's insurance. Gotta plan for that property tax, a lawn maintenance plan. Have you had someone look at your gutters yet? That's gonna be really important. Cable and internet is definitely a must so we can entertain the guests. Uh, oh, you know what? Uh, another thing that I was thinking for fire insurance. Something they don't care. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, don't forget your umbrella policy, that's important. Okay, you know what, Doc? She's gone. You are the best. Next time, let's talk about you, you know? You gotta up your rate, you know? We all know this ain't cheap. I gotta go, you're a genius, okay. Therapy works. Hey, good morning, Real Life Church. It's Pastor Bob, and we are going to finish up our last discussion in our series, If Money Talked. And we've got a surprise today. We have actually four individuals that are going to be here with us. So welcome, Fabian, to the Real Life Church online platform. Well, thank you, Bob, for having me here. So in our series, we've been talking about if money talked, what would it say to us? And by now, we've already found out that if money could talk, it would match what Jesus did say about 2,000 years ago. Now, let's remind ourselves that of the statements that we've been looking at over the last few weeks. First of all, we said that money can add meaning to our life, but it's not the meaning of life. And, and that's such a um, pretty deep statement. And, and so, Fabian, before I get into some of these other things that we've talked about, you know, you are from Crossroads Mission, correct? Yes, I am. And again, this is a, an organization in our town that provides a service that a lot of uh, churches can't. Yeah, well, so yes, my name is Fabian. I, of course, I am a ministry coordinator for Crossroads Mission. And yes, we do have, we do have a, a homeless shelter. We have uh, services that we provide for people who are homeless, who are substance abuse, that come in there. These are services that are very much needed here in Yuma. If you go to the river, you go somewhere else, you see people out there just just spending nights on the on the on the street uh, on, without a shade without anything and so we provide those we even provide showers for people when they come or meals if they don't want to stay because sometimes they don't want to stay but yes we do provide a lot of services that a lot of other places do not do not offer yeah and this series actually comes from uh, Andy Stanley and I was thinking about one of the things that he said to us is you know we need to support organizations that can do better than what we can and so our church has always been a part of Crossroads Mission, and uh, we're proud to partner with you as well. How does your organization do that? How do you make any, any eternal difference in people's lives? Thank you so much for that question. Listen, I myself am a miracle from Crossroads Mission. I did the program. I accepted Jesus Christ while I was in the program. I started mentor, getting a mentor. Uh, one of my friends, of course, you know, Mike Tunin, started sponsoring me. 
in recovery. Then I got into plugged into a church and we started, I started getting, I got a mentor at the church. One of the pastors took me under his wing and we started going, I started going to GCU, but really the foundation of everything was accepting Jesus Christ. Uh -huh. And that happened while I was at Crossroads Mission. And so now it is, it's, I took it upon myself to not only share the message, but that provide, when we provide those services, we make sure that we share those values with people. That we not just want to help them get a meal or help them get a, get a roof over their heads, but help them understand the love of Jesus in their life. Help them understand how, how we can be saved from everything that's going on and that we can be forgiven and that there's love out there. That one of the things that we do is we offer uh, volunteer services where yeah. pastors from different churches, mm -hmm. like you said, um, there's mm -hmm. actually two staff members that come to your church right. and are actually working for Crossroads. They do devotions for mm -hmm. us. We have other churches that come in the afternoon and they send their ministers to go over there and minister to people. Mm -hmm. And, and, and uh, what happens is it's a life-changing experience. And we see miracles when people start not only learning how to live, learning how to live through our programs of substance abuse and vocational studies and our educational programs and all those, those services that we offer, but also they get to accept Jesus Christ right. and they get to walk with someone who has that that for them and who can teach them. But we do have a discipleship program there, right. which is every Thursday. And it's not mandatory because, of course, we have those people who don't want to get that what they say is they don't want to get God pushed down their throat sure. or something like sure. that. But we want to have the gospel ready for them. We want to have the gospel available for them. And uh, we can see that God is working every day. And uh, many miracles, many miracles have come out of of. of of Crossroads Mission and got plugged into different churches in our community where they're serving, where they're doing uh, life together in life groups, when they're doing all these things. And it happened. Why? Because there was someone willing to share the gospel with them at Crossroads Mission. And I just love that about what we do there. So if I understand you right, and, and, and for our audience, you know, you're uh, someone who went through the program at Crossroads. Yes. You came to know who Jesus was. And and now you're actively serving at Crossroads, actually helping other people come to know who Jesus is. That's eternal. That is, that's what it's all about. Yeah. That's what we're all about. We Our main core foundations is we believe, of course, all Scripture is God-breathed, is inspiration of God. And we believe, of course, John 3, 16, you know, right. and we have eternal life. We can have eternal life. We place our trust and hope in Jesus Christ. And we share that with people. And yes, it is eternal. So let me challenge you, okay? Let me challenge you. We talked about extra dollars before, and, you know, we said, okay, that we ought to be giving a certain percentage to God. Uh, we should be um, saving a certain percentage for our future, and we should be learning to live on the rest. Now, we've said that. Where are your extra dollars going today? You know, Crossroads um, is, again, an organization that lives and breathes and exists by monies that come in. You can be a part of their ministry. They're making an eternal difference in people's lives, okay? Living beyond ourselves. That's what we've been talking about. So Fabian, I want to say thank you for being here today. You're just one of the organizations in our city that's doing a fantastic job. Uh, man, is it okay if I pray with you? No, nope, it's all right. Okay. God, again, I want to come before you and I want to thank you for my friend Fabian. Lord, thank you for the ministry that he and Crossroads Mission is doing for people in our city that desperately need ministry, people to, be, to, to love on. And God, thank you again for what they're doing. Help us as a church to be better involved with them. Yes, we've cooked meals and yes, we've done different things down there. But Lord, help us to think about living beyond ourselves and supporting ministry. Again, that's making a difference in our community. God bless him. God bless Crossroads Mission and the work that they're doing. And it is in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. All right, Fabian, thanks for being here with us today. Thank you, Pastor Bob, for having me. So like I said, we have four different people coming in, and look who's here with us now. <laughs> hey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's Greg Byers. Yeah. Uh, ben, welcome to Real Life Church Online. Oh, thank you. It's good to be here. We are, again, glad that you're here, but you are so much more than just the Sunday morning bass player for us and, and worship uh, leader for us, right? Yeah, that's true. That's you true. are the, what, general manager, right? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, KCFY. KCFY. And again, I know what that is, but maybe everybody else doesn't. You are um, the general manager of our, our local Christian radio station. 
Yeah, I've been doing that uh, for almost 30 years now. 30 years. Yeah, wow. long time. I remember time. you from the early 1980s, but let's not go back that far. Uh, okay. That's a long time ago. It was a long time ago. <laughs> hey, but you know what? In our church, and, uh, and again, we've been talking about If Money Talk. Uh, let me just ask you a question. KCFY. Yes. How is it making an eternal difference in, you know, in, in our local community? Well, uh, you know, that happens, Bob, on a daily basis, really. Mm -hmm. I mean, we, we get input all the time, whether it be uh, phone calls at the station, uh, emails, uh, Facebook, uh, uh, social media. Uh, folks are being impacted each and every day. Um, it, it has to do with maybe something that I said or one of our disc jockeys said, uh, what one of the pastors on the air said, or a song that ministered to someone uh, at the point in time where they really needed to hear what that song had to say. And so it's, you know, it really is, it's a daily ongoing ministry that you never know who it's impacting. That's cool. That is so cool. So um, what I was thinking about, you know, is we've been talking about these extra dollars that we happen to have laying around mm -hmm. and, you know, um, and how, that we ought to be using those extra dollars to 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 live beyond ourselves. Yes. Um, now, if I remember right, and I've, I've been on your show a few times, okay, um, <laughs> KCFY is a listener-supported mm -hmm. organization. You don't have state funding, and you don't have government funding, and nope. um, you are actually supported by people. Right. And, and, and so when people give to you KCFY, they, they're actually participating in that ministry with you. Oh, absolutely. You know, it's I, I've said it in the past. It's, it's like you're a shareholder, a stakeholder in the ministry. Um, when someone tunes in that is being ministered to, especially in one of those really awesome, unique ways, you have a part in that happening. Uh, every single time you give, when you support the station, whether it's monthly or during our share a or, or however you give, uh, you're making that possible so that that song or what someone said, uh, the fact that we could pay our electric bill that month and keep the station on the air, uh, you're, you're a big part of that. Yeah. So there, there you got it there, there. You know, we've had Crossroads and now we've had KCFY. Um, these are two great organizations. If you've got those extra dollars laying around that you could support that are making a difference in the kingdom. Greg, man, I really appreciate you being here. Oh, absolutely. I know you're, you're a busy man. <laughs> There's a I, lot going on. I appreciate yeah. you being here because what you're doing down there at the radio station, and I've told you this before, mm -hmm. is making a difference in people's lives. Yeah, thank you. It's, yeah. it's made a difference in my life. We okay? want to we keep going All right. and continue to, uh, to be there for people. All right. Well, thanks, Greg. Thanks for being here. Appreciate yeah. it. All right. God bless you, you guys. Betcha. Hey, everybody, we're back, and we're back with the Cheryl Van Horn, Director at Arizona Baptist Children's Services. So my, my first question for you, of course, is are you related to that pastor at Real Life Church? Only like 35 plus years. Yeah, yeah a little 30, bit. 36, but who's 30, counting? Yeah, okay. 36. There you go. Okay, I'm but glad you're keeping track. I am. Okay, it's been 36 <laughs> wonderful years. But hey, you are the director at Arizona Baptist Children's Services, and we've been in a series in our church called If Money Talked. And we've been talking about if money could talk, what would it say? And one of the things uh, that we've looked at over the last several weeks is that it says that your self-control determines, now this is money speaking, your self-control determines which one of us has control. Um, pretty cool principle, right? Um, your money either has control over you or you have control over your money, True. right? True. How, how is your organization making a difference in people's lives eternally? Well, it's my pleasure to be here and speak with you about this. Um, what we love about Arizona Baptist Children's Services is its ministry, and there's lots of great organizations, but we have the privilege of being able to pray with our clients, share Christ with our clients, and that's very important to us. We keep that at the front of everything we do. Um, we've been able to um, share Christ with a client recently, and this young lady, lots of things. She has five children. They were removed from her care, and a parent aide took an opportunity to share with her Christ. And it was a beautiful story. She, um, anyway, he texted me and he said, bring me some Bibles. And so thankfully we get donations of Bibles all the time. And so I took him five Bibles to her and just started praying because I thought something's going on in that room where the skill session was happening. And then when he came out, he said, she prayed to receive Christ. And this is just recently. And, um, 
she, we gave her a devotional book and she's been carrying around that devotional book wherever she goes because she wants opportunities to read it whenever, wherever she is. And then during the visit, and it's a lot of hard things that go into this case. And during the visit, she's reading this Bible story to her five kids. And it's just a beautiful story of what we get the privilege of being a part of. Real Life Church has been a partner with Arizona Baptist Children's yes. Services for years. Yes. And so when those type of things happen, okay, and they happen, you know, frequently, you're making a big difference in people's lives. It's like our church is is also has a, a little bit of, a, a, you know, a, a play in that decision, right? Absolutely. We have lots of church involvement and we're so thankful for Real Life Church. You've done so much for our ministries and food drives and you've been involved in the pregnancy center. So you are partners with us and you have a real stake in lives being changed. And so we're so grateful for that involvement. But you could always use a little bit more involvement, right? Of course. Of <laughs> yeah. course. And we've been talking about extra dollars and, and talking about, again, giving those extra dollars beyond ourselves. Because it's so tempting when you have an extra dollar or two to spend it on yourself. Um, either, you know, something or on, uh, but, and it's also, you know, uh, well, I can put it in the bank, but that's still for yourself. Okay. And we want to live beyond ourselves. So Arizona Baptist Children's Services, New Life Pregnancy Center, um, the counseling services, all the different things that you provide up there. When people choose to give to you, you're making an eternal difference. Yes, absolutely. And it's our privilege to do that. Um, recently we had our government TFAP bags go away. We're not getting those government TFAPs any bag in, anymore in the resource center. And so it's amazing because since that happened and we're not getting those bags of food, the community has been an outpouring of providing us food so we can do, and we call them ministry boxes. They're not government bags anymore. We call them ministry boxes and each box has five meals in it. It's approximately $15 per box and we've given over a hundred um, since we've stopped receiving the government boxes. So it's just, Whatever God, whatever is taken away, God replaces with abundance. Wow, that's a great story. And you know, again, Arizona Baptist Children's Services, one of the three organizations. We got one left. Uh, we're going to be talking to disaster relief here in just a second. So um, hang on for that. But let me just say this again. You know, I I honestly know what your husband sees in you. I do. I really do. I know what he sees in you. I know the difference in what you're doing is making a difference in our community. And that's what I really appreciate about you. I've, I've watched you grow. Okay, God is, it's all you God know, doing it. It is. It's his work. And yeah. so I'm, I, like I said, it's, we, we consider ministry a privilege and it is because God puts you there for a reason and a purpose. Awesome. So thank you so much for being here. Absolutely. Uh, again, a part of Real Life Church and uh, God bless you guys. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Okay, everybody, we're back, and I'm now with Don Vickers. Hi, Don. Hey. Welcome to the Real Life Church Online. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Well, I'm glad I'm you're here. here. You are now uh, been appointed to be on the Arizona Southern Baptist Disaster Relief Task Force, right? That's right. Yeah. And, you know, in our series in our church, we've been talking about if money talked, okay, some of the things that it would say to us is that we're never to allow money to be a master. Hmm. Money was meant to be a servant. Right. And, you know, you know a little bit about serving other people. Um, you have been part of a disaster relief for some time now. And yeah. the question I've been asking is how, if people chose to either participate with disaster relief or if they chose to give disaster give to disaster relief how would that be making an eternal difference in someone's life well through through disaster relief we're able to help people uh, when they're in great need and sometimes those people need to know that they're not alone and to know that God loves them. And for some people, it's the very first time that they get to hear that God loves them and really cares for them. So we get to do that by meeting some practical needs. Okay. And it wasn't there, and just, uh, just to kind of go back, just, wasn't there just like this last couple of weeks that you guys were doing something that we've never done in disaster relief here in Yuma, right? That's right. So in Yuma, we're kind of unique. We have a local team that responds to things that are happening within our community. So we're able to help families and uh, smaller events. And we were able to help a family who had experienced a fire mm -hmm. and we were able to go in and help them recover some of their possessions for them. 
That's cool. And so yeah. um, I, I don't know what their religious beliefs are, but, you know, when I know that when people come and they provide that type of ministry to you, it makes a difference in their life. Yes. Yeah. People wonder why you're there, first of all. Mm -hmm. uh, what is it that you want from them? And they're shocked when we tell them we don't want anything. We're here to serve you because Jesus served us. So disaster relief is one of those ways that we've been talking about that if our life is supposed to, to have some meaning to it, that we have to live beyond ourselves, disaster relief, you can get involved in a couple different ways. One, you can participate. See, I got my, my yellow hat because I'm a part of disaster relief, okay? Yeah. Uh, I've been on a couple of call outs, some chainsaw call outs and stuff of that nature. And I've been trained in um, ash out and I've been trained uh, in uh, the shower unit. So I've been on a, a couple of the call outs there and, and I participate by going out and ministering to people, but also we have the ability here to give to our local disaster relief because we're just kind of bringing this up, you know, uh, beginning this here in the Yuma area, right? Right. And yeah. we have some needs, right? Absolutely. Um, can you talk to us about a couple of those needs? Sure. So we have locally put together a trailer that stays here in Yuma and is able to be used within our, our area to respond to people's needs. And so we've been able to put some things in it for our chainsaws, uh, the equipment that we need for the ash out, um, those type things, some tools for rebuilding. Um, but we have other things on our wish list that we would like to get to. Um, we're just waiting for the funds. Okay, so, and you can get that wish list on at the, uh, on the Disaster Relief website, right? Yes. Or the Facebook page, You right? can see it through our Facebook page. Okay, cool, cool. So, again, I've given you four different organizations today that are able to make a difference in people's lives. We've had Crossroads, we've had KCFY, Arizona Baptist Children's Services, and we just finished up with Disaster Relief. See, when we give dollars to them and when we give our time to them, it's the whole concept of what Jesus was saying, seeking his kingdom first, okay? Seeking his kingdom, being others orientated, that's what kingdom of Jesus was all about. And so again, I hope that you've got something out of this series. This has been, again, a monumental series for those of us that have allowed God to talk to us about it. Now, starting next week, we're getting into our brand new teaching series, it's called the Summer Games. I don't know if you know this or not, but the Olympics are coming. At least we hope they're coming. They are, as of right now, they're coming. And we're going to take the whole Olympic theme, okay? And we're going to develop several messages based on the Olympics. And so I want you to be a part of that. Actually, Don, you're going to be here for like three of those messages, right? I'm looking forward to it. And so that means that if he's going to be here, I'm not, okay? okay. So you're going to actually fill in for me so I can take a little vacation. That's good. And so I appreciate that very much. So starting next week, July 4th, okay, Independence Day. Don't want to miss it. Great message in store. Um, but before we go, let's pray. Let's wrap it up. And then I'll see you next week. God, again, we come before you and we thank you for, again, allowing us the privilege of being managers of your resources. God, it's, again, so much more than just 10%. It is all. You own it all. And you have asked us to manage it and, and to be accountable for it. And Lord, we're, we're thinking about these four organizations because they're doing things in our local city that are making a difference eternally, living beyond ourselves. God, again, thank you so much um, for the privilege of being able to share today. And it is in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen, amen. All right. God bless you guys, and I'll see you next week.